Alright, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flawless lightsaber effect in Premiere Pro. So, let's get into it. The materials you're going to need for this effect is a camera, a cheap lightsaber effect, and Adobe Premiere Pro, obviously. Alright, once you've recorded all your clips, you're going to want to import it into a folder, and then open Premiere Pro, and drag this folder right into this box. All right, once you have your footage selected, you want to drag it into this other box right here. Then you're going to click this little thing that says new item and select color mat. Press okay. And just select it to white. And you can name this lightsaber. Drag this right on top of your clip and then cut it to the right length. Head over to effect controls, select your lightsaber and then press opacity and make this 0% so you can see your footage again. All right, so now you're gonna wanna select the free draw Bezier right under the opacity tab, click this, and maybe zoom in on your clip a tiny bit and draw a mask right over the blade of your lightsaber. All right, once you have this drawn, you're gonna wanna select mask path and then press the arrow keys to go by frame by frame and wherever the movement of the lightsaber toy you're holding goes, make the mask go there. And just select these four buttons. All right, so after um, following the blade for a while, you're going to see keyframes develop. And if you want to check your on your animation and see how it's going so far, go right here and then put this up back to 100 and you're going to be able to see a white blade. And then if you press the space button, you can see how your animation is going so far. So as you can see, that's all I have so far in mine. So, just keep doing this until the very end of the clip then you'll have a fluent animation and I'll give you further directions all right so once you guys are done animating your mask just like I am you can check your animation to see if it looks good so far and this is what mine looks like so far so it looks pretty good the the white mat is on the lightsaber pretty well but it doesn't look like a lightsaber. It just looks like a white square. So, to make it actually look like a lightsaber, you're gonna wanna turn the feather on the mask up to about 10. And now, on the next layer, you're gonna want to copy and paste this, but so you can click it, press Alt, and then drag up. You have another clip. Then put this one on like 20 and then after a while of doing this just like this it's gonna look like it's starting to glow on each layer i'm increasing the feather um and it makes this glow effect and it's starting to look like an actual lightsaber but it doesn't have the color unless you just want a white lightsaber that's fine. All right, and to add color to the lightsaber, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna select the top two clips of the lightsaber layer. Then you're gonna wanna right click on them and then press nest. And then you could name it whatever. I'm just gonna name this um, light saber color. And then you're gonna want to select this and go to the color tab. And then you're gonna wanna go to basic correction and then turn the temperature down to blue if you want the color on this to be blue. And then you can add just your own little details. You might wanna experiment around with this just to like, like see if you can get the correct color that you want. And I think this color for my lightsaber is pretty good, but I could add a little bit more detail, but you might just wanna experiment for like whatever color you want. Instead of like turning it down to the lowest temperature, turn it down to like the highest temperature and like experiment 
out with other things. Just see if you want like a red lightsaber or another color. See, like you can make it a purple lightsaber. Just lots of things you can experiment with in this tab. So let me just make a color that I like. All right, now I have a color of my lightsaber that I like. It's a nice blue color. So you just wanna like experiment with like the color things, like as I said, and until you get a color that you like. And right now I like this. All right, so now I'm going to drag in a pack of lightsaber sounds that I use for all my lightsaber effects and stuff. And this has a ton of lightsaber sounds. And I'll put the link in the description so you can check this out and then you can sound design for your lightsaber too. But just try to like sound design with all the movements of your lightsaber and yeah. All right, so this is the final result of my lightsaber effect. I hope this helped you to create this effect and here it is. All right, thank you for watching my video. I hope this helps and I hope that you have a lightsaber effect that you're satisfied with. I work really hard on my videos with all this like editing and stuff and it would be really helpful if you subscribe. So yeah, later.